Hi there, my name is Martha. I'm here to talk to you about a book that I just read. But I want to start out with a short clip from an insurance company ad from a couple of years ago. I'm guessing that most of you will remember it. It's pretty funny. Where'd you hear that? The internet. And you believed it? Yeah. They can't put anything on the internet that isn't true. Where'd you hear that? The, the internet. internet. Oh, look. Here comes my date. I met him on the internet. He's a French model. Uh, bonjour. Hi again. I think that America has become dumber since the advent of the internet. Why? Because there's so much knowledge out there, but it's completely unmanageable. There's so much of it. And it's not regulated. There's no, nothing policing it. It's half of it's a crock. You don't, you don't know. You have to wade through everything to fi figure out what is a crock. Chaos reigns on the net, and, and amid that chaos, knowledge is being fabricated on an unprecedented level, and that furthers people's agendas. Agendas create knowledge now, and it should be the other way around. Knowledge should create the agendas. <clears throat> A person looking on the internet for the truth these days has to wade through deceit-ridden muck of extremists from both sides of the fence. Corporations that carefully make sure we believe everything they want us to believe. Loners who just for fun purposely create fake knowledge and make sure that it gets spread. Scientists who really aren't scientists because they've been bought and paid for by groups or corporations. And out of context pieces of truth that get put back together in a different way. And... Uh, once that happens, it's completely different. Where is the truth? Harvard researcher David Weinberger has written a book about the knowledge crisis called Too Big to Know, Rethinking Knowledge Now That the Facts Aren't the Facts, Experts Are Everywhere, and the Smartest Person in the Room is the Room. David Weinberger is a writer, philosopher, marketing consultant, professional speaker, teacher, and he's got a PhD from the University of Toronto. He taught college for seven, several years in the 1980s. He currently co-teaches a class called The Web Difference at the Berkman Center for Internet and Society at Harvard School of Law. He's also co-director at the Harvard School of Law's Harvard Library Innovation Lab. He's provided his technical expertise to the presidential campaigns of Howard Dean in 2004 and John Edwards in 2008. He's definitely got the credentials to have written this book. One of the key points for me in the book is Chapter 7, Too Much Science, where uh, Weinberger discusses the, the fact that flawed science gets spread so easily. And he also talks about the fact that science churns out these bits and pieces, he calls them bricks. Uh, they're valid facts, but they're not put together in any sort of meaningful way. And that leaves it up to lay people, unqualified people, to try and piece them together and, and so they make sense. And what that means is half the time they're wrong, probably more than half the time. They have a very good chance of being wrong, and if nothing else, they're very misleading. Of course, there are also those people that are going to take this bit and this bit and this bit and and jumble it all together, and actually not jumble, they're going to put it together precisely how they want to conform to their own beliefs. Kind of what gets done in some Bible studies, where they cherry-pick certain things out to prove their point. And, uh, prove that it's right for them to hate this group or that group or whatever. Um, the other important piece in the book is Chapter 5, A Marketplace of Echoes, and I think this is the key to me. This is the big key to this book. He discusses what meaningful di diversity is and the fact that on the net we tend to preach to the choir basically and we fork, he calls it fork off into groups or echo chambers of people who think the same way. 
For example, on page 181, he says, uh, fork birthers or enthusiastic supporters of President Obama into their own discussion, and they're likely to close themselves to external criticism and egg one another on, rather than be opened up by a good, diverse conversation. This is something I see all over the net and in social media. Lies and out of context half truths and things like that that are never fact checked are being spread like wildflower, wildfire. I believe that extremist groups on both sides, especially on the right, are planning these lies and wherever they feel like they're going to be effective, they're going to plant these lies. People are safe in their own echo chambers and they eat it up like candy. Again on page 81, Weinberger states, and this is a very profound and important statement here. He says, if the net is creating more echo chambers, the biggest loser will be democracy. This is a very dangerous and frightening thing, and it's an issue that has to be addressed somehow. In conclusion, my take on this book overall is that our human knowledge base has, hasn't necessarily grown with the internet. It's just become so available and is always available, readily available, and it never was so easily and instantly available before. Also, more isn't really more unless it comes from reliable sources and it's filterable. Too much of what is out there is junk and too many people treat it like it's the gospel truth. In chapter one, Weinberger states, there was always too much to know, but now that fact is thrown in our faces at every turn. Now we know that there's too much for us to know, and it has consequences. The task of filtering all of this information is daunting. Um, overall, I think this is a good book. I think you should read it. Thanks for listening.